Stephen here from History Hustle and there we are again this time in front of the beautiful mountains in the capital of Iran, Tehran. And in this video I'm going to talk about Iran during the First World War, during the Pahlavi Dynasty and during the Second World War. So it's a whole batch all for you. All right. The 19th century was the time of modern imperialism and there was the so-called Great Game and this was a strategic conflict between Russia and England over control of Central Asia and also Iran back in the day called Persia. In the beginning of the 20th century oil was discovered in Iran and in 1907 there was the Anglo-Russian Convention where Iran was divided into spheres of influence. A northern Russian sphere, a southern British sphere, and a middle neutral sphere, a buffer zone, as you will. And this here laid the foundation for what became later known as the Triple Entente. Together with France, Russia, and England fought against Germany the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Ottoman Empire in the First World War. Now, with Persia bordering the Ottoman Empire, the northwest of Persia transformed into a battlefield for the whole duration of the war. After the First World War, the Persian Qajar dynasty was severely weakened. And in 1921, Reza Khan Reza Shah perpetrated a successful coup and in 1925 he established the Pahlavi dynasty. He passed many secular laws causing resentment amongst the devout Muslim population of Persia. During the First World War, Persia was neutral and they got dragged into war. During the Second World War, Persia was neutral and guess what happened? Right, before I'm gonna dive into that, did you actually know that many Polish people found refuge here in Persia to escape the horrors of war in Europe. Imagine European refugees in the Middle East. The ruling Shah was alleged of being pro-German. This was because at that time Germany was doing pretty well on the Eastern Front and the Soviets and the British therefore decided to invade Persia. Also because of the oil by the way. So Persia got invaded and the Shah had to abdicate. However, the dynasty did not disappear because the son of the Shah, his name was Mohammed Reza Pahlavi, now took over. He became the new Shah. In 1943, the Tehran Conference took place here in this city with world leaders Stalin, Roosevelt and Churchill to discuss Europe's post-war plans. And Iran was promised independence after the war. And so it happened. After the war, the Shah implemented some democratic reforms and Prime Minister was installed. His name was Mohammed Mossadegh. Now at some point he wanted to nationalize all British oil assets. In other words, simply put, money from Persian oil not to England but to Persia. And that did not sit well with Great Britain and the US and they organized a coup in 1953. The Prime Minister Mossadegh had to leave, the Shah kept on his throne and he even got more and more power. Now all this created massive anti-American and anti-Western sentiments and this laid the foundation for the upcoming Islamic Revolution where I'm going to talk about in the next video. For now subscribe on my channel, check out my Facebook and Instagram. And until next time.